Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my show on Thursdays where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today we're going to play some Final Fantasy X and apparently what I wanted to do today also was get started late. That was not intentional, it just sort of happened. I mean, I talked to us about this a little bit last stream, but things are a little bit crazy for me. So we got started a little bit a little bit late, but um, I want to say a big, big thank you to Lunar. Thank you so much for uh, your Tier 2 subscription, 13 months. 13 months, holy crap. Lunar, you've basically been subscribed to me all the time, the whole time that I've been streaming. Thank you so much. And hey, Kitty, welcome in, welcome in. Um, oh, first, Kitty, so Kitty got the first today. Um, had to re-up yesterday, saw an ad and was like, boo. That's what happens to me on my favorite streamers, uh, Kitty, for real. Like, what really triggers my mind is I click on it and it's like, why is there an ad here? I watch this person all the time. I'm like, oh, oh, it's because it's been a month. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. So <clears throat> we've got an all blitz stream planned today for Final Fantasy X. Oh my gosh, I'm like looking at the lighting in this room. I'm in even a different room than last time because I wanted to be closer to the, the router so I could plug in. But I'm not digging the way these lights are. Give me one second. I'm going to go turn on some more lights. All right, I think that's going to help so it doesn't just look like a blinding spotlight on me. Okay. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. That's okay. We'll deal with that for today. That's fine. All right, guys. We, you know, we love to start out with um, a little quiz. A little quiz. So that is what we are going to do. So here we go. Here's the one we're going to do today. Let me paste that in the chat so you guys can do it with me. And here it is. Boom. Boom. Which squid game character are you? So we've been playing a bunch of Blitz today. Um, we did, of course, the my favorite swimming anime last time because it's a swimming game. I thought squid, ga squid games, well, that's a game. I mean, you know, it's got crazy things happen in squid games. And I mean, in Blitz, you get poisoned and uh, and, fit and all of this stuff. So here we go. And we're going to see which squid game character we are. I assume this has spoilers. I don't know. Um, if you don't want spoilers, though, of course, skip the, the quiz segment. Here we go. Um, all right, first question. You won the game. Holy crap, I won. Um, what will you do first with your prize money? I'll use it for my family. To pay off my debt. Duh, none of your fucking business. Well, there we go. Wait, I won. Uh, we all know that I'd be the first one dead. I did not win. I want to answer something like the first two, but I have, I have to go with what's true in my heart. I would be dead. I would not win Squid Game. Okay, I think I need to open my drink. It's late night stream, you guys. Late night stream. So I got I got a beverage. I've got a um got a black cherry flavored white claw today. So here we go. Okay. How would you describe yourself? Selfish and smart, polite and helping, hot headed brute, extroverted loud, selfless and caring, revengeful and forgiving, carefree, enjoys the little things in life. Oh, I don't know. Um, it feels egotistical, but the one I'm drawn to the most is the selfless and caring. So that's what we're going to go with. This question is time. You must answer within. Oh, my God. Pick a color. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't like any of these colors. I guess. Shoot. Black. We'll go with black. Okay. <laughs> that was too intense. I didn't know you could have timed questions on you quiz. Don't do that to me again, you quiz. Okay. <laughs> What was your favorite game? Uh, red light, green light, honeycomb, tug of war, marbles, glass bridge, squid game. Um, Lola likes the giant fight. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't a game. <laughs> um, so do I go with what game I thought was most interesting or do I go with the episode that spoke to me most? Of course, marbles hurt my heart. I think that happened to everybody. But I thought honeycomb was the most interesting game. I'd not heard of something like that before. Um... I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with Honeycomb because it's asking what my favorite game was. I thought Honeycomb was really interesting. That's not a game, uh, any kind of game like that. I'd never heard of that, right? All right, you're a finalist and you're changing into a new uniform. What do you want it to be? Something fancy, something comfortable, something casual, something I can show off. Anything really, something I can easily move around in. Uh, definitely something I can easily move around in. That is that is the priority for me. All right. Someone says no to you. How do you react? Whoa. I sock them in the face. I'm disappointed, but I don't try to go against them. I don't do anything. Yelling is my answer. Uh, nobody would even have the balls to say no to me. Um, 
Probably. I don't really do anything. I mean, if they say no, they say no. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what I'm asking for, I guess. What have they said no to? <laughs> Maybe I can do it myself. All right, we're going to go with Don't Do Anything. Okay. Choose a Mitski song. If you don't know any of these, just pick by the title. I don't I don't know what Mitski is. Is that a K-pop thing? Is, is Mitski a K-pop thing? Okay. Maybe. Why Didn't You Stop Me? Me and My Husband. A Burning Hill. Francis Forever. A Pearl. First Love Late Spring. Do you like Taylor Swift? N no. Sock him in the face. Oh. <laughs> Well, Lunar, if it's that question being asked of you, I would understand, you know, um, that sounds appropriate to me. Uh, let's go with First Love Late Spring. That sounds beautiful. Okay, what is your tactic for winning? Manipulation, my strength, just follow what everyone else is doing, my smartness, I find loopholes, I make up a tactic last minute. Um, I definitely have to go with my smartness. I don't think it would work in squid games i don't i don't think it would work but i would try to just be intelligent about it you know final question you go up against a friend one of you has to die what do you do oh no flashbacks to the marble episode okay um i sacrificed myself shit i already know that's gonna be the answer let's read the others though i don't care i'm here to win i apologize i don't have friends i try to find a way for both of us to win i mean this is this is what i would want to do and i don't know and like in the final squid game, like it could have gone that way, right? Like they could have done a Hunger Games thing. Um, but uh, yeah, probably this is more accurate the way that squid games went anyway. For me. What's your favorite season? Oh, um, definitely let's go with spring. I used to not be super into spring, but now that I've got my allergies under control, spring is definitely the best. I love them all. That's an answer. That's funny. All right, what's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Draw, write stuff. Uh, play games, spend time with friends and family, sleep. Oh, I love sleeping. Why'd they have to put that on here? Um, go outside or eat food. I like eating food too. No, but I think it's more draw and write, write stuff, really. I don't draw, but write stuff. You have the choice to go back to a game, to the games or not. Do you choose? Hell no. Hell no, I would not go back. I would be one of those people that was like, Peace, see ya, not returning, I'm done. Oh yeah, it's song, I'm not sure, very sure how to pronounce these names. I watched it subtitled, so um, the pronunciations are a little bit weak for me. Um, song, song Gi Hun, I guess that's how you say that, say their name. That's a good result, Lunar. Okay, I got Huang Zhou, oh no, I got the sneaky dude. I got Huang Zhou Zheng Ho, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, what do most people get? Most people get Ali. Oh, that's nice. Um, Kong Sebyak. Oh, I loved, I loved her. Okay. This is who most of y'all got. Song Gi Hun. What picture do they choose for him? I can't really tell. I can't really tell. Um, only 5% get number one. All right, this was fun. If y'all haven't seen Squid Games yet, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I have a whole theory about why Squid Games got super popular that I will share with you guys um, with the when we kind of get the stream going. He's smiling really big. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. He's smiling. Okay, let's switch over to the game, guys. All right, we can close out of this. Let's get some volume going. All right, turn my controller on. Look at the levels. Okay, that looks pretty good. If it sounds too loud or too quiet, y'all tell me. I, I mean, this is obviously not my normal setup. I've got, you know, things are a little bit crazy. They're all kind of all over the place. So, it looks right, but y'all tell me if it's not. Okay. So, let's cancel that. Resume. Okay, so here's what I did last time. So, we did the, um, we did the tournament. Right, we did the tournament to get the attack reels, and then um, so then then what I did is the status reels popped up on the league, right? But off stream, I went ahead and played some of the league games. So we've got six more games. I think I played four of them. I think um, we'll see in a second. So we've got six more games to finish the league. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get we're gonna get status reels. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I played four of them because this is round five. Okay, fabulous. So who are we playing? We are playing the Killika Beasts. Okay, easy peasy. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yep, that's what I want. Yes, proceed. Oh, and we got, um, so Yuma has both Super Goalie and Grip Gloves now, so that's awesome. Um, so here, the, the text, the texts that they've got have changed a little bit. So we've got, nap, we got Titus as a tackle now, and Nap Tackle and Anti Wither. We gave, um, Waka, uh, he has Wither Shot instead of the Venom Shot. Uh, Nap Pass 2 and then Wither Pass. Rin, I don't, I don't know if I changed this, I can't remember. He still has the lovely Tackle Slip. Uh, Nada now has Brawler and Elite Defense. So she is a powerhouse. Um, Jasu doesn't, he just has a couple of tackles and passes. And then Yuma's got the Grip Gloves and Super Goalie and Anti Wither 2 and Anti Venom. So she does amazing too. All right. Let's see. Can we learn any new, new things? Probably not much. Not much of any. Oh, well, we can do that. And then Titus, you can mark him. And then Rin, is there anything that we can learn you? Well, let's do that. It's not really important. Um, we can get... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Jane, welcome! Yes, it is a late night stream. We are we are late night streaming. <laughs> oh no, I want Kuwak on there. Nada can do... Nada can do DM, that's fine. And is there anything? I guess you can learn those. It's not really useful for you, Yuma, but that's fine. Yeah, Jane, we had some we had some scheduling conflicts, you know. I mean, you know I'm in um central time right now and all the stuff going on, so Oh, nice nice use of exclamation kitty there. <laughs> oh, cute. Exclamation Jane, exclamation kitty. Oh, Rin got the ball. Fabulous. Oh, also, Jane, the quiz we did today was what um, Squid Games character are you? So if you've watched Squid Games, you need to you need to do that quiz and tell me who you got. All right, we're going to pass over to Titus like we like to do so we can score. And um, it made me too anxious. Oh, you tried to watch it. It made you too anxious. It's very bloody. I have to say, if there wasn't the beautiful art direction with that MC Escher house, I don't know if I would have stood it either, because sometimes I get a little, it gets a little bit too much for me, you know what I mean? But because um, some of the shots were just so beautifully done, I'm, I'm, I was able to kind of get past it and, and be okay. My favorite part of Squid Games is the when they're walking through the house to go to the next game, and it's like this MC Escher like stares and doors everywhere, and you don't know what's going on or where they're going. I love that. It's just, it looked so beautiful to me. And like the, the red pink people leading the green people through is just like, I don't know, just the way that was shot and staged was just like, to me it was breathtaking. I forgot to turn on my closed captions, I just realized. There we go. Now the closed captions are on for those that want that. <clears throat> All right, Titus, can you do it? Go ahead and nap tackle. Put him to sleep or don't, that's fine too, I guess. <laughs> Can't ask for everything. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. I've been, I, but I did watch Squid Games. It was very good, um, and I have a theory about why it's gotten so freaking popular. Cause like it's good, but it's not like stellar amazing. I mean, it's it's a you know battle royale death games show, um, and I don't think it's saying anything super different than most death game stories say, which is basically. Um, you know, rich people kill poor people for fun. Um, just like every other death game show, that's, that's, that's it. That's the theme, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. It is incredibly well structured, like it's well written. All of the characters are fantastic and compelling. Um, the, it, the cinematography is just beautiful, so it really uses that, it's medium well of television. And I just think that during this pandemic, people are freaking starved for well-written stuff. You know, something that's not a remake or an adaptation or, you know, a franchise. It's like, we haven't seen this story before and the writing is good and the acting is decent. And, it, and it, they take care in how things are shot and framed. Like, it's it's just decent quality. It's not anything groundbreaking or crazy, but it's just, like, actually made with care. And you can tell that when you watch it. That they really cared about their story. They really cared about the, the show that they were making. And that's why I think it's gotten so wildly popular. Not necessarily because 
it's it's anything crazy or that you know I mean there's lots of like theory videos on YouTube and stuff like that but I actually think that that part doesn't matter it's just that people were so happy to watch something that was well freaking written for once in a blue moon because everything for the past so many years has been adaptations and remakes and just like franchises and and I just I think people are tired of it and especially during the pandemic where a lot of things just aren't being made it's tough you know it's tough to find entertainment that um, that isn't like the same stuff you you've watched over and over so that's my theory on squid games it's not that squid games is doing anything um, revolutionary it's that um, it's that it's actually decent quality um, Oh, you're gonna make your husband watch it and tell you while you close your eyes. <laughs> well, Kitty, it's worth it. It's worth it if you can handle the the gore. I think it's worth it because I'm not huge on gore either. But um, I found it. I found it really good. We're gonna let Waka try to get a shot. See if that see if that pans out. Um, have you seen the TikToker that goes through the points out all the poor translations that really show the English version is missing some great detail? I have seen that, and my belief from reading takes um, from people that actually know Korean is that that TikToker is wrong. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know that for a fact. I don't know Korean. I cannot verify any of this, but um, that TikToker is wrong. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if that is true and the case um, because a lot of people don't understand what really goes into translating. Like they don't understand the localization process. They, they, and this happens in anime communities all the time. That's why I say, I say this. Like they, they want this like direct translation that actually would not be good. Um, so my understanding from actual, from Korean translators that really do this work is that that particular TikToker doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, I know she speaks Korean, but that doesn't mean she knows how to translate and localize things for, um, you know, a different audience to get the same things out of it. Uh, now, I watched the the um, subtitled version with the original Korean voice acting. And I don't know Korean, so I, I mean, I can't speak to it myself, right? I can only tell you what I saw. But um, I have seen that, that TikTok. And um, my understanding from translators that also speak Korean is that they are full of it, and they're doing the same thing that a lot of anime fans do that speak Japanese. And they're just wrong. So, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't know Korean, so I might be totally wrong. And if I actually knew Korean, maybe I would have a different thought um, and actually agree with the TikToker. Who knows? She's what made me want to watch it because the added depth to the characters. Oh, I see. Well, I've, I watched it subtitled. I did not watch it dubbed. I don't, I don't like when the mouths don't match. <laughs> so we watched, we watched it subtitled, and we're just, we're very used to subtitles. That's something that does not bother anybody in our house. You know, we all watch anime and things like that, and so, and just subtitles. I, sometimes I turn them on, um, even for you know English language things, just because it's easier. It's easier for me to listen to it if I can also have the words. I don't have to think like sometimes you know some actors or characters they'll mumble and um, I'll have to be like wait what did that person say or like question in my head if I heard it right um, I know I heard it right because I saw the subtitle uh, no let's yeah no break and let's pass let's pass to Waka I'm gonna try to let Waka get a shot here we're already up to kill like a beast there's no way they're gonna get three points so we're gonna see if Waka can get some shots I took your advice on that and did subtitles yeah 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 I mean I love that that's how I watch a lot of stuff And turn the subtitles on all the time. Get it, Nada. She's so good. Go, Nada. Go, Nada. Go. All right. It's no breaks. We'll just pass. Just pass. I don't think it's gonna work because I think they're gonna get to touch it. Yeah. Oh no. The score's still good. There we go. Good job, Nada. You're always pulling through for me. Ugh. Yeah, break, and then we'll do nap shot. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh no, Waka's poison. Poison is the lamest of the status effects in this, especially once you're at the level that I'm at. 
because essentially what you have is um, that your HP is so high and your HP resets at halftime, so it doesn't really matter that your that your HP is draining from the uh, the venom. You you have enough that it doesn't make any difference. Excuse me. The venom stuff can be kind of useful at the beginning um, when your people are all low level, but once you get to a certain point, it's just it's not useful anymore. All right, let's get it back over to Waka so you can try to shoot again. Yeah, Jane, I, I I understand what you're saying about, like, uh, you tried to watch it and couldn't. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry you couldn't get past it because it is really good um, and I think worth watching. One of the few things that we have seen in the since the pandemic started that actually was good quality. It wasn't even the gore. Was it, like, the emotional stuff that was the problem? I was just so nervous. Oh, like trying to watch them play the games, it made you nervous? Like, you know, the, you see the people lose? Get her. You love the high collar outfit, the, Sha the Shami player. I think Shami's her name that player has. Yeah, um, that's a really good, that's a good one. Good, it's a good model. Let's see if I can show her again. Oh, no, but I was caught. Where is Shami? Did I put her to sleep? Is she over there just taking a nap? I can't remember. Anyway, let's break. <laughs> let's break and we'll pass over to, pass over to Waka. No, he took the ball from me. Rude, Roja. Wow, putting Nada to sleep. That's messed up. She didn't want to take a nap. She didn't want to take a nap in the water. I getting him. I'm getting him, kitty. That this one, right? Shami? Yeah, that's a really cool model. She looks really nice. I like that one that one too. She did. She definitely did. <laughs> I just love that. I love how all of the characters, like, they don't, they don't have Blitz uniforms. You just, they're gonna play Blitz in whatever their game model is, and that's just how that's gonna be. Shoot. Waka, shoot. Yay! I'm trying to level him up a little bit, you know, once we get ahead like this. Let him get some shots in. No, that's one of their people. She's not ours. She is on the Kilika Beasts. I don't even know, I don't know if her stats are any good or anything. She's got a nice model, though. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swim away. So I'm making a train. Choo choo! Choo choo! <laughs> Can she do? This is their whole team. <laughs> Alright, I guess you guys can have it back. I feel like Lois Lane, sometimes they change outfits, I get confused. Yeah. They don't change outfits in this, though, which is what cracks me up. Um, so whatever outfit they have, that's what they have. Oh my gosh! Party of six! Thank you so much for the raid, Madam G! Somebody do a, um, shout out in exclamation SO, um, for Madam MG right there. Oh, Rin got a technique slot. Nice. What were, what were you streaming? What were you doing? Space. SO exclamation space. You almost got it, Kitty. Alright, that's all good. Sweet. Okay. No, we're gonna continue. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, everybody go follow um, Madam MG. She makes some really awesome um, crafts and things like that on her stream. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, she's always like super creative making stuff that I'm just like, I'm blown away. 
Like I'm blown away at her craft collection and I am absolutely blown away at um, the quality of the stuff she makes. It always looks like really, really neato. Um, it's one of those things that like, gosh, if I, uh, if I had, if I had the, the time, I would get into that sort of thing. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. We're gonna give him Spinball. Why not? I think that's what that, let's just double check what that got, what that does. I wanna see. I didn't read it. I think you can use it for passing. You might, it might be something that only, puts a spin on the ball harder for the goalkeeper to control. Oh, it's only for shots. Okay. Well, what does he have? What does he have that would actually be good? I guess we can give him Venom Pass 2. That's kind of lame, but it'll at least give him another pass if we want to use that. All right. We're done with Tex. Not too much tonight. I just started playing with some potion making crafts. Ooh, that sounds very Halloween-y. Oh, that's anti-venom. Okay. Let's do... Oh, no, I definitely want him on Vixen to try to get those. Um, Rin can do Grav. Nada. I guess you can do... Nap Tackle 2. Jasu. Okay. Oh, Jasu can do grab, so I'm gonna put Rim, Rin on Doran. Yeah, I think that's all right. Okay, and then what should I put you on? Let's do that one. Get her some anties. Uh, thank you so much, Jane. I will, um, I will text uh, Jeff and let him know that Queen got some nice munchy channel points. Um, so he can give those to her at the house. Oh, hell yeah, it's all about the Halloween. That's why I've got the black ears all the time. i got to do the, the black kitty cat ears for Halloween. Yes, for sure. All right, Grav, you can have it, I guess. He's going to shoot all the way from back here? Why? Why? Don't make any sense. That is so pointless. I guess they just want to give me the ball really bad. Oh, Waka got it. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go away from the goers. Okay, let's do this break. And let's try to pass over to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pass over to Titus. I love that you had the foresight to bring ears for the stream when you packed. Girl, I packed everything. I packed everything. Because we just don't know. We don't know how long we're going to be here. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like... I packed everything. And um, I couldn't... The only thing I really couldn't pack that I typically use on the stream... I didn't bring my tarot cards. So that's why you won't see the tarot card point redeem for a while. Um, and I couldn't really pack my lights. We kind of ran out of room in the car and the lights are pretty delicate. So what I went and did is I went to Target and I got like this little, this little like clip on, like cheapy, it, it's like a ring light, but it's not a ring. It's just a circle. <laughs> and I've got that on me so that I have a little bit of light. You know what I mean? Um, but I, after, after I saw how Saturday stream looked, I, um, I was like, oh, I don't like that. I need, I want to control the light a little bit better. So I went and got a little light. Hope everything's all right. Oh, Lunar, it's it, it's a whole big family drama. It, it's not, but it's it's my my grandparents are having some trouble. Um, but uh, they're 95 and 96. I talked about it last Final Fantasy stream. If you go to about an hour in to the last stream, you'll hear the whole story if you want to. Um, I don't want to make two streams sad, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. But um, but if you want to, that's where it is. You can find it. Um, but I'm here supporting my parents. It's my it's my mom's parents that are having the trouble. All right, Wither Tackle three. Lighting looks good though, bright and cheerful. Oh, that's awesome! I'm so glad. Because obviously, I mean, it's not as good as my normal lights, but <laughs> I think it doesn't look too bad, right? Like it definitely looks better than no lights. Um, and trying to just do it with the lights in the room, you know? You can see me. We're jinxing. What are you guys jinxing? What are you guys jinxing? Oh, because you're saying at the same time. I thought you were, like, jinxing me, you know what I mean? Um, ooh, why are they up and down so hard? Okay. 
No break. We need to score. I don't want to do this. I don't want to tie. I need to score. My dog ate my leftover pizza slice. <gasps> no! Bad Lunar's dog. Wow, that's so rude. I can't believe it did that. Tell it Karen said no. Bad dog. Eating pizza. God. Okay. Let's get serious. We need to actually score a point so we win. Even though I'm pretty sure at this point they cannot really score against me. But I don't want to tie it. So we gotta score something. Okay, so we'll break there. We'll do a jack shot. That should get us a score. Dang it! They're training you to be faster and stronger for your safety. <laughs> she looked me in the face and snatched it and ran into- <gasps> Wow! Oh my god! Luna, your dog is so rude. Does it, is it is it like your dog loves pizza as much as you? You know how like um, pets and owners, like they, they'll, you know, be the same, they'll look the same or, or do the same things or whatever, right? Um, is it kind of like that? <laughs> I have to do it, your dog. Yeah. <gasps> Shit, they got a goal. That's bad. I don't want to lose. Well, if I only lose one game, I can still win the tournament. It's not a big deal, but... But I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. I haven't lost a Blitzball game in a while. Okay, let's break, and then we'll pass. Nap pass. Good job, Rin. I like that tackle slip. That's my fave when you do that. Yeah, put Bixen to sleep. Bye, Bixen. More like Bitchson. Okay, we're gonna no break. And we're gonna do the jack shot. Okay. Don't fail me, Titus. Get it, Karen! Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kitty. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We gotta score twice now. I think we can. Just gotta score again in the next half. My favorite sound after the kitten screaming. <gasps> oh yeah, little screamer with a little squeak. The little squeak. Screamer's one of the ones that um, went to a stranger, so I haven't kept up with him, but um, all the kittens that I, I have been able to keep up with are doing fantastic, so I can only assume Screamer is also um, doing fantastic in uh, in his home. Look at that. Look at Nate is so awesome. She's like level 35. She's like towering above everybody. All right. Let's see. Do the positions. Yes, that's good. Let's go look. Do we want to switch Drain Tackle? Yeah, I think I'm going to switch Drain Tackle to Nap Tackle, too. Alright. We're done with that. I don't think I don't think I want to change these. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I need to score another point so I don't tie it. Although I'm pretty sure if I just tie one game, I would still win the tournament. So I don't think it matters as far as you know, reaching our goals, but I do not want to lose. Thank you so much for the Lurk Lunar. We love our Lurkers here, as you know. Alright, let's, um, let's nap pass over to Titus. Make sure that's all good. Alright, Titus. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, so I'm only... We're just gonna break... We're going to do a spear shot. That should definitely go in. Guess who's up at 2.30 a.m. because it's stupid. Oh my god! I'm so sorry, Koneko. I have really bad reactions to mosquitoes and um, and get really, really itchy. And it interrupts my sleep sometimes, too, uh, if I get too itchy from the mosquito bites. Is that what happened to you? Let's pass it to Titus. They're loud and they're biting me and keeping me awake and I have a personal vendetta against them. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Mosquitoes are the worst. Mosquitoes are the worst. Okay, no break. We're gonna do a jack shot. <clears throat> I hate mosquitoes. 
That's why I love having lizards and spiders and all kinds of critters like that because they'll eat the mosquitoes. I swear I've been bitten just as often these three days as I usually get the entire summer. Ah, oh, gross. They apparently hate bananas. Really? Does that work? Putting out banana peels or something? I heard though you shouldn't put out, you shouldn't use banana smell when it comes to bugs because like a lot of bees and, and uh, wasps and insects like that will, um, that's like their, it smells a lot like their angry chemical and you'll piss them off if they smell too much banana. I don't want to piss off any bees, you know. Even if it did get rid of the mosquitoes, I don't think that would be a good trade-off. All right. We're up now, so we don't have to really worry too much. No break, we'll just pass. Pass back over to Titus. See if we can get one more point. Then we'll be very secure in our lead. We'll be the Winrar. All right, let's do a sphere shot. I have anti-mosquito balm, like the kind that's toxic to them and they still bite anyway. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Do you have the, the DEET? You gotta get the ones with the DEET. That's what really repels them. But DEET is uh, very poisonous, so you have to make sure you wash it off before you go to bed. The banana thing's an old wives' tale, according to Google. Oh, so it's not real. That's a shame. Because unless you're scared of bees and wasps like I am, that might actually work for you, you know? Just get a banana. Or a banana peel. But if it's not true, it's not true. Alright, got that anti for Yuma. That's nice. I heard it's the smell of lemon. Oh. Like they hate lemon, but that's also a myth. Yeah, I don't know anything about any of that stuff. Never heard of it. I don't know. Oh, good job, Jasu. Putting him to sleep. It's what he likes. He wanted a nap. He was tired of blitzing. Didn't want to play anymore. He told me that. So, it was very nice of you. All right, we're gonna Venom Pass over to Waka. How, how, Kitty, how does that happen? <laughs> yeah, Jane, bees recognize royalty, don't you know? <laughs> oh my god. That movie's crazy. That movie's crazy. If, if y'all haven't seen Jupiter Ascending, um, that movie is insane. It's really, uh, it's really fun though. It's enjoyable. All right, there we go. Go to sleep, Blegra. It's time to nap. It's bedtime. Bedtime for you. All right, let's just pass it over to Waka. Yeah, I agree, Koneko. Mosquitoes are not useful. Like, bees, they're allowed to exist just away from me, but I think, um, I think mosquitoes, they are not allowed to exist. They should not, they should not be in this world. I might, I don't think mosquitoes are, are fertilizers. I mean, maybe, but not as far as I know. I just think they're annoying and disease spreading and itchy. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do have some kind of fertilization purpose and I'm just not aware. All right, we are the Winrar still. I know it looks a little grim there for a moment, but we're still good. We can still beat the Luka Goers, the hardest team. All right, she got anti with her. That's nice. I can appreciate most animals, but mosquitoes and silverfish can go burn in hell. I agree. You'll get no argument from me on that. All right, continue. More blitz, more blitz, more blitz. 
Round seven. Yes, proceed. Okay, I think... Excuse me, Yuma had a... Oh, but she has Auntie with her too, so that's useless. Okay, we don't care. Done. Mm. Oh no, that's a lot better. Or Waka it doesn't have a lot of um, text. <laughs> Try to get him some. Doesn't always work out. All right, Nada, you are too good, girl. You are too good. All right, what can we get for Yuma? Oh, anti nap. That would be fine. Yep, against the Ronsos. We're gonna fight. We're gonna blitz against the Detroit Lions. Where every player is the Detroit Lions mascot. Um, I'll catch and release just about any bug that's in my house except for mosquitoes and silverfish. Um, they're murdered on sight. Yep. Same. Mm, pass. I'm gonna do a nap pass over to Titus. <laughs> Jane, you don't want to know what silverfish are? Why? The poor Ronso are so slow. Yeah, I don't, Jane, I don't really know that we have um, silverfish too much over on the like east coast area of the US. I mean, maybe maybe we do, I don't know, but it's a thing in Europe. Hmm. No break, we'll just pass. Um, geez, Titus is not in a good position. We'll pass over to Waka. He's in a much better position. No break. We're just gonna shoot. Let's do nap shot too. Maybe we can put their goalie to sleep. He looks like he needs a nap. Oh, nope, we got it. Good job, Waka. The poor Ronso. They're like the slowest swimmers. The Ronso models are the slowest swimmers in the whole game. You see, like, they like just. slow. Slow and steady. And they have a lot of HP. A lot of the Ronso players have a lot of HP. But once you get to the level that I'm at um, in uh, in Blitz, that does it's like so super irrelevant. Like who cares how much HP people have? It doesn't matter. Wow, rude tackle slipping. Oh, smash the beast though. <laughs> Looks like an X-Men character with a unicorn. Or hard agree, hard agree. But um, they're not very good Blitz players. But they're probably amazing cuddlers. I'm just saying. Ronso are cats, and cats and water do not go together. Very true, Kaneko. Why do the Ronso even have a Blitz team? Mysteries abound. We do not know. I guess because it's popular in Spira. Wow, they got a point on me. That's so rude. I guess his shot was very good. His shot score was very good. And her super goalie didn't kick off for some reason. Alright. All that means is we have to score again. Let's break, and we'll pass over to Titus. Narwhal and Lion had a baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they might. I mean, I might could break some toes. They got claws, though, instead of, like, feet. So it'd probably take a little bit of effort, but... You know what? I bet Nada could do it. She's such a powerhouse. If anybody could make the Ronso break a toe, it's her. All right, let's swim away. Choo-choo train, follow me. All right, Jetta. Um, pass over to Titus. I don't think this is gonna work. I think he's gonna put her to sleep. Oh! Wow, that was a gamble. I did not think that was gonna happen. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll break. 
and then we'll do the spear shot. Dang it! Jetta, stop it! Rude! Karen just has skills. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Nate is a powerhouse. I don't control her. She does her own thing. Alright. No break. We're just gonna pass. I need to get another point. But they have... The Ronso, it's the Ronso Fangs, but they've recruited these two Albeds on their team, and it's just, it's, it's, it's not their team anymore. Um, and these Albed players are actually good, which is probably why they recruited them. Flappa loses a tech? Oh, I guess because he got disoriented from the tackle slip. Alright, here we go. Stop tackle slipping! Gosh! How is a kick to the face move? I love that. Yeah, uh, that's Titus's jack shot. He kicks the ball in their faces. These are my lucky ears? Okay. I understand. Come on, Titus, get the ball. Uh, thank you so much for Lurk and Tap. In class, I wish they'd make a Blitzball spin-off game. Oh my god, they would have to make the game way more complicated. Right now, um, it's really super flawed because it's really just about the numbers. And you can really just level up your guys and then, you know, do well enough to win everything. Win all your all the things that you're looking for. Thank you for the Lurk Tap. We love our Lurkers here. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I think it could be. I think if they, they did a little bit to make it a bit more skills-based instead of just a numbers based, it could be a decent spin-off. Um, cause it's a fun, it's a fun game. It's just the structure of how you actually play it is just the numbers. So that's where you run into the problems. Okay, I think that's all still fine. Yes, let's proceed. Let's off! Alright, yep, let's break. No, just a regular pass is fine. He rolled good on that tackle. Almost got ran, but he didn't. Okay. Just two defenders. That's all good. Well, Jack shot it should go in. This one, right, where he punches the ball in their face? That's the jack shot. Super fancy, only Titus can do that. There we go. Good job, guys, good job. Go team! Yeah, man, it was totally the wireless that was making me drop frames when we were streaming on Saturday. And I know, like most of you guys, you're here to, like, listen to me and just hang out and that sort of thing. So you're probably like, Karen, it doesn't really matter if you drop frames sometimes. But you know what? It matters to me. <laughs> I know for most of my content, y'all are just minimizing it and listening, but I still want it to look beautiful. Is that neurotic? That's probably like incredibly neurotic, even though I know that's how people are watching. And I and the thing is, is like, I watch a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff where I just really want to hang out with the person, or I just really want to hear what they have to say, and I totally don't watch the video or watch the stream. I just have it on in the background, and I'm listening to it. <laughs> um, but, uh, but for me, I'm like, but the visual still needs to be good. <laughs> uh, my own behavior does not dictate. Yeah, I haven't been dropping frames tonight. Um, I plugged in. I plugged into the router, into the, so I'm not wireless. Um, but when I was wireless on Saturday, I was dropping a lot of frames. All right, let's pass to Waka. Waka can try to get a goal in. All right, let's see. Let's do a nap shot. You can do it, Waka. Yeah. 
Good job. Yeah, no drop frames tonight. That's all it was. It's just streaming on the wireless. Like, they tell you if you if you search about it and, like, research it, they'll tell you you can stream wireless if you have a good enough upload. You need, like, at least six um, uh, megabits or whatever the unit is. And I had, like, 23, and I was dropping frames all over the place. So, like, it's a lie. You need a wired connection. You cannot really stream on wireless without dropping frames. Like, yes, the stream will work, but it's not going to be good quality. It's going to be dropped frames all over the place. That was Kendra's problem, right? Yep. Yep, that's why her initial streams didn't work, because of that weird, stupid setup they had in that building. Um, let's pass it. Over, we'll pass it to Walker, I think. No, we won't, because Iria is going to grab the ball. But at least, at least she didn't wither Nada. Yeah. Yep, so Saturday stream I did it wireless. And, um... And that's why there was dropped frames all over the place. So you got to watch the VOD if you want to watch it without drop frames. God, her shot is so bad. <laughs> I was like, maybe Na I can get Nada to shoot. No. Her shot is not good. You can pass it to Waka. Yeah, me too. Me too, Jane. Because I love Kendra's streams. They're so funny. And that game, that Crusader Kings game that she's been playing, it is hilarious. I never knew anything about that game before um, she played it, and I have been thoroughly entertained by its antics. Yeah, I have a pretty strong internet, and where I am right now, my parents' house has pretty strong internet too, so. I just needed to actually wire in instead of trying to do the wireless. It's not good enough. And I don't think there's, and I don't care what Google says, I don't think there's any such thing as good enough wireless to stream. I just don't think that's a thing. Not to Twitch anyway. Maybe like a Zoom call, like that's fine, but not Twitch stream. Let's just pass it to try to run the clock down. Yeah, you can break. And we'll pass it again. Here, Jasu, you can have it. Rain is shutting down. I'm gonna try sleep. Good luck, Koneko. I hope the mosquitoes don't bite you in your sleep anymore. Tell them Karen said to fuck off. No mosquitoes for Koneko. Lukugoas are never going to use you, Keepa. Alright. We're still doing good. Continue. More Blitz, more Blitz. Alright, we're going to play the Guado Glories this time. Yes, proceed. Alright, they're all the, all their techs are fine. I don't need to do anything with that. Svanda! Svanda's got the... Svanda's got the funnest... <gasps> um... Yeah, no, let's do that for Kyo. Svanda's got the funnest, uh, model. It's the one with the big ol' wool coat. Cracks me up. Minty nap, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yes, proceed. Good night, Jane, good night. It's so weird streaming this late. It feels very strange to me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, this is supposed to be relax time, but it's stream time right now. <laughs> and after this, I'm probably gonna go go back out and join everybody, and um, I'm gonna watch some football. So we're gonna go from blitzball to football. Yes, good night, guys. Have a good sleeps. Kyo's got a pretty cool model too. I kind of like it. His weird mask that he's got.
and then Vilucha with her assless skirt. Them cheeks indeed. That's where her blitz power comes from, the cheeks. Oh no! Oh, she resisted. Good. But say, don't wither my Goldie. I need her. Okay. We'll break. Rude, Bada, rude. Remember when you used to be on my team? You sucked, so I kicked you off. This guy's arms are regulation, my goodness. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Blitz is crazy, you know that. Everything's regulation. It's all good in Blitz. Oh, let's pass it over to Titus. Alright. Okay, guys. Get ready to get punched in the face with a blitz ball. Boom. Boom. Do you like that? Do you like eating my blitz ball? <sighs> yeah. Exactly. If the narwhal kitty can have his death spike, then long arms are good. Put her to sleep. Have a nap, Svanda. Or don't, I guess. Svanda wasn't tired. I thought she was, but I guess not. Good job, Jasu. Oop. Rude, Kyo. You shouldn't have withered me like that. Yeah, it really does. He has one of the coolest models. Kyo. There we go. Got the ball back. Mm. God, his pass is so jacked up. We're gonna have to break. And then we'll pass over to Titus. Dang it! He keeps getting the ball back! Mask looks like the OG Digimon main guy. I never got into Digimon, so I don't know who you're talking about, Jane. Um, I'm just gonna have to trust you. Because I never watched Digimon. Or played the games or anything. I was 100% pure Pokemon. Um, <laughs> I know Digimon was like the, the cooler one or whatever. But uh, I just never got into it, you know. It was never my thing. Good job, Yuma. I didn't feel cool enough for Pokemon. But Jane, you said you played the Pokemon cards. Pokemon was the cooler one. Let's see, let's pass over to... No, regular pass is fine. I was always under the impression that, like, Digimon was, like, the cool hipster one, and Pokemon was, like, the popular one. If that makes sense. That was my percep child perception, though. Alright, let's do another jack shot. I guess these two want to get smacked in the face again. They got smacked in the face last time. Same two getting smacked in the face this time. Oh, but it's halftime. Oops, I didn't get it in time. I was not paying attention to that clock. Alright, Jassy wouldn't learn Wither Pass. Okay. Alright, same positions. Yes, proceed. Um. Oh, I definitely would prefer that over Venom Pass. Let's do that. 
There we go. Done. Your marks are all still fine, that's fine. I've got such good text now, I don't even really have to worry about like trying to gain the text um, that I need, because they're all good. I got good ones. Alright, Sponda. It's me and you. It's me and you, girl. She's shooting all the way from back here, because the AI is heckin' dumb. Hi! I swim so fast! Um, we'll do break there. We'll pass it to Titus. Go, go, Titus, go! Oh, no break. Kyo wants to get smacked in the face this time. I guess he likes that. He saw what happened to, to Bada and he wanted in on that. Well, how did it feel, Kyo? Was it everything you hoped and dreamed of? I hope so. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Put her to sleep. Good night, Svanda. Dang it, why doesn't she want to take a nap? Svanda, you're cranky. Take a nap. She just won't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to raise her right, but she just, she isn't interested. Your assless skirt is no match for my bikini. Girls in bikinis. Girls in bikinis on roller skates in outer space. Alright, let's... Let's pass it over to Waka and see if he can get a shot. It's a good song. Um, it's literally just called Girls in Bikinis. And it's about how much the singer loves bikinis. And it's like a list of, of all her favorite bikinis. It's pretty fabulous. Get it back. Yeah. No! Oh, Waka's level's too low for that. Sounds like something the B-52s would sing. It does sound like that, doesn't it? It's not by B-52s. I can't remember who, who sings it. Um, I don't know. But I, it came up on my Spotify one time, and then um, and so I, I knew about it from there. And then whenever we were doing that, um, what was the role play we did that was like in, on the spaceship? Um, and they were going out to try to find, find Valhalla. Whatever that role play was, I can't remember. Um, Freya, yeah, it was Freya. Uh, when we did, uh, when we did Freya, somebody put it on the, uh, song list for that one. It was awesome. Go, Titus, go! Mm. And then we'll do a spare shot, yeah. Karen, that was like a few months ago. You know what, Jane? Time is relative. Time is a social construct. What is a month anyway? You know, who, what bozo decided to make a calendar and count things in months? God. I didn't ask for that. Society forcing this upon me. You playing Blitzball? Of course we're playing Blitzball. Drop the beat, 50. Welcome to the stream. We are trying to get these status reels from this tournament. We're definitely going to get it, but we still have to finish and play all the games, of course, to make it happen. Yeah, that's where I met you around my one-year anniversary of coming around. Oh my gosh, really, Kitty? Is your one-year anniversary of being part of the club? Oh my gosh. It feels like I've known you forever, though. It feels like we've been friends forever. I feel like you've been hanging out with us longer than that, but I guess not. When I think about it, no, it probably has been like a year. 
January. Yeah, so it will be a year really soon. Before you know it. I have our one year friend anniversary coming up. Alright. I'm gonna save really quick because we played lots of games of Blitzball. And I just feel like it's been a second. Yes. Alright, let's go play some more. Do you like playing Blitzball? Eh, it's okay. But I gotta get um, Waka's ultimate weapon, so... That's why we're doing it. If I've gotten all the other ultimate weapons, I should get this one too. That looks good. <clears throat> I know, right, Jane? That's how I feel about Kitty, too. I was in Atlantis, but only in the lobby. I never talked. I didn't make the cut before they closed off new characters. Oh, I see. Man, I can't believe you stuck it out through us doing something like that. I'm so glad you did, though. Kitty's the coolest. Yeah, they are. Basically the best weapons in the game, so... We're getting them. We got all the others, so we're gonna get Waka's too. Even though it takes five ever. Mm, yep, Titus. But I forgot to look when I was loading up this game what number we're on. I think we have one or two more games after this one. I think this is number eight or nine of the tournament. So we're almost done with it. And then we will have the status reels. Just as nature intended. Nap tackle. Why doesn't anybody want to go take a nap? I try to tell these blitzball players they're cranky, they need to lay down for a nap, but they just don't freaking listen. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that, y'all. Oh, is that the spin ball? Did Waka get the spin ball just then? Oh, that's awesome. Still not gonna get you a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Yuma. Best goalie. Didn't you say 10 streams? Yeah, yeah. It's been forever. Um, let's do a break there. Let's pass. Like, that's, as we were going through the monster capturing, we were playing, like, um, a Blitz game most streams. So we played, like, one Blitz game per stream for, like, I don't know, like, 10 or 11 streams. And while we were getting all the rest of the Celestial Weapons, just trying to level our Blitz people up. And then once we finished getting all the Celestial Weapons, well, that this is the only one left to get, so... Now we're just playing Blitz after Blitz after Blitz, trying to get all the stuff. But yes, it takes... this takes the longest out of pretty much any of the other, any of the things that you do to to get uh, the celestial weapons in this game. This one takes for freaking ever compared to all the other ones. But it's not like challenging or anything, it's just you have to level up your people and then you just have to keep playing Blitz. Yeah, we're super close. So after we get status reels, we have to get the Oroch reels, and then the Jupiter sigil will actually pop up. And that's the last thing we need for his ultimate weapon. And then we'll have it. What's there to be hyped up about, Jane? Are you hype about something? For someone about to get the last celestial weapon. <laughs> Uh, Jane, don't worry. I'll celebrate when it happens. I'll celebrate when- but it's like- it's like two more Final Fantasy streams from now. It's that big. It is! We've been working on this. We've been working on getting the Celestial Weapons for as long as we did playing through the, um, the main story so far. You know, we played- because we played all the way up till Sin. Um, 
and we kind of paused there and started doing this. But this has been just as many streams now doing this as it was um, getting to that point in the story. So it's been a long, it's been a long road. Oh my god. Well, Kitty, now I have to. I'll have to think about that. What is my final Celestial Weapon dance? Exactly, yes. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna totally rock Sin's world with our boss-ass Celestial Weapons. I'm actually really excited to show you guys that part of the game and get back to the story. I think you're gonna be really, um, really amazed with the way that the, the ending of the game and the stuff that leads up to that final battle. I think you're gonna, you guys are gonna really like it. We're gonna have to do a little recap when we get to that point. We're gonna have to do a little recap on like the the story so far, so you can remember <laughs> how we got to that point. I need a pose. What if I dab? Let's do. I'll, I can do a dab. Uh, okay, let's break, and then we will do a spear shot. And do like, do like a really awesome dab. All I know is the hotties made out, so I was happy. The hotties did make out. We saw that. And they had that beautiful song, and I had to mute it in the VOD because YouTube was so unhappy with that song. Ugh. Very annoying. You can just scream into a pillow. <laughs> it's a celebration and a coping skill. Ah. <sighs> uh. No, we'll do something fun. We'll do something fun for getting the last Celestial Weapon, and we'll do a recap of the story so you guys can kind of remember what we did so far and kind of where we are. I probably actually need to go back and refresh my memory on some of that stuff and rewatch some of those streams. Oh yeah, clock ran out before you got to even try. Booyah. You thought, you thought, Mr. Zazzy, but... You did not make it. Alright, Waka learned a new shot. That's the tech that he must have learned when it said he learned a new one. Not the spin ball. Um, does he have spin ball? No, he doesn't. Okay. Anyway, their techs are fine. That's fine. And we'll keep all that too. Yes. Okay, all right, Jane. Good night. Get ready for bed. All right, we'll break. And then we'll pass over to... No, normal pass is fine. There we go. I need to look... When we get back to the main screen, what game we're on. If this is like game eight or game nine. Yeah, we'll just do a jack shot. Blitzball to the face. I have to imagine because of all the little Audi bumps on the Blitzball, when it hits you in the face, that shit has got to hurt. Especially if, depending on where one of the little knobbies actually smacks you. Like, that's gotta be painful. She's got a cool model, too. I like her, her like, pirate pants. And she's got, like, the, like a, you know, do-rag kind of looking thing on her head. She looks neato. it. They can have it back. It's fine, I think. They're probably gonna get it back. They remind me of that kid show Lazy Town. I don't know anything about Lazy Town, except that I have seen it featured in some memes. I have seen some Lazy Town memes. <laughs> and uh, that's all I know about it. I don't actually know anything about the show itself. It was a it was a thing when I was um 
you know, too old for kids shows, you know, wasn't hanging around any kids, stuff like that, so. I never caught it except the weird memes. Alright. We can send it over to Waka, I guess. We've already got... Oh. Or not, because Rop's just gonna get the ball back. He's kind of piratey looking, too. His pants are kind of cool, but I think the stripy ladies' pants are better. I have a problem with marionettes or puppets that look like them, so I hate the show, but they had cool outfits. Oh, that's funny. All right. Let's see if Walker can get a shot. He might can. But their goalie is actually pretty good, so. But that with two blockers, I'm not so sure. Ah, oh, well, he put him to sleep. Well, he withered him anyway. Since it's spooky time, what's one thing that makes you super scared in movies, TV? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't know necessarily what makes me scared. I have, um, I have a struggle sometimes with too much gore. Um, if things are, like, really gory and it's done in a very visceral way, I really struggle with it. Like, it makes me feel sick to my stomach in a way that I can't handle. Um, if it's very artistically done, I can be okay with it. But, like, the Saw movies, for example really get me. I cannot handle the later Saw movies. Like, the first one was very interesting and, and fresh and felt artistic for me, so I could kind of handle it, but um, the later Saw movies, it becomes all about the gore, and I can't, I can't hang anymore. You know, it just makes me feel, like, sick. Um, I don't know, I don't know what, what makes me feel scared, though. I can't really... I don't know that I've ever watched a movie and felt, like, scared. Or maybe I have, and I just, when the movie's over, I'm over it, so I'm fine. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is making sense, but that's, like, the type, when I, when I can't watch it, it's not a feeling of being scared. It's, like, a gross-out feeling that I can't handle. Yeah, I can't imagine that being someone's job to edit that footage for 15 hours a day, right? Like, I couldn't look at it for that long. Um, <laughs> like, it's a blessing, uh, you know, when the movie's over and it's like, oh, I'm done with it. Let's see, shoot. And I don't know, a lot of people have stories of like, you know, I watched such and such movie when I was a kid and it freaked me the hell out. And I don't have any memories like that. Like, I don't have any memories of, like, watching a scary movie and, and being, like, super scared as a kid. Um, I'm sure I must have happened, but it just, it must not have impacted me very much to stick in my memory. Alright, I gotta remember to actually look. Oh, round nine. Okay, so last game. Oh, I definitely want to renew you, Jasu. All right, last one, and we're going to get the status reels. Against, okay, so our last one, we're playing the, um, I think it said Killica Beasts. Okay, really easy. No problems. This will be fun. All right. We're just going to do like this. They'll learn some text. It's good. Click on, and then you can mark DM. Nope. Uh, no. I wanted to change Yuma's. Oh, it made me go all the way back. Oops. Haha! <laughs> that wasn't what I intended. Okay. Techs are good. I'm trying to set marks. Anti-nap. There we go. Now I'm done. 
Yeah, this is gonna- this one's against the Killika Beast. It's gonna be no problem. And I've won every single game so far, and you saw the scores. I was so far ahead, so even if I lost this one, it wouldn't matter as far as getting the status reels goes. Alright, we'll do a break, and we will pass over to Titus. Okay, who on the Killika Beasts wants to get smacked in the face? I need two of you. There we go. Okay, Shami and DM. Oh, here's Shami. She's back. I guess they want to get smacked in the face. Here we go. They could be. I mean, and who am I to judge? I wouldn't know. That's their business. Go! Yep. The Killahu Beasts are not very good. <laughs> uh, they're the next crappiest team after the Besaid Aurochs that I was so crappy at the beginning before I changed, you know, basically swapped out my whole team. Um, the Killika Beasts are the next most crappy team. And the Ronso Fangs are also pretty bad, but they're really bad later in the game. Not as much at the beginning. You didn't even need to super goalie that one, Yuma, but I guess you did. Oh no, she's sleeping. Yuma, don't go to sleep. It's time for Blitz. Gosh, there are so many. And they're gonna get it back and actually probably score a point. Because Yuma's asleep. Oh, no they didn't. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Amazing! Um, okay, time to smack in the face again. <laughs> Do I? Am I going too fast? You can't see what I'm doing? I've just gotten, I, I guess, because we did Blitz, like, of lots of games last stream, and then in between streams, you know, I, I played several of the League games because I couldn't fit... 10 games into a stream I know I wouldn't finish in the two hours that I normally stream. So um, I pre-played four of the games, you know, so we would make sure we got the status reels this stream. It's like, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good on my muscle memory for Blitz. Feels like nice and fluid. <clears throat> oh, Kitty, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. We have a rename card. Which means we can rename one of our Aeons, so we can actually give Valifor um, a nice cute name like everybody else has. Um, so what do you think we should name the, the birdie? Because he, he just has his regular name. So we could give him a fun name. Like we have, you know, Cuddles and Sparkles and Giggles and all of that. But our bird doesn't have one. She's just gonna pass. Okay. Alright. Get out the way. No breaks. We're just gonna pass. Okay. No worries, Kitty. You have time. We'll do it after this game. So you have a little bit of time to think. They want to get smacked in the face again. Y'all, if you wouldn't put exactly two defenders on me, I wouldn't do this whole smacking in the face thing. The only conclusion I can come to from this happening over and over again is this must be your preference. You must want to be smacked in the face. I think it's about to be, yeah, it's about to be halftime. So you're not even gonna get to do anything. Half time. Okay. 
looks all good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep this. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Don't really need to learn new text that badly. At this point doesn't make a huge difference. Let's give it to Waka. Maybe he can get a little level up, get some scores. There we go. clear and we will do we'll do a nap shot. I looked up bird pungs and I like Meryl Cheap or Plucky. Oh I love Plucky. Plucky's perfect. I think it matches with the other cute names we have because everybody's got like a really cute name, you know? So let's go with Plucky. And then Valifor will have will be matching. No but it sounds like a bird, right? It still sounds like a bird. Plucky's a really good bird name. break and let's pass it back to Waka. You can try to shoot again. I'd be friends with Plucky too. It's, Plucky sounds like a lot of fun, you know? Good hangout person. Uh, yep, let's break there. And we'll try to do a wither shot. No, DM grab the ball. I wish there was a way, the only thing, that for like, playing the Blitz over and over and over like this, I wish there was a way to like, you know, like take a knee, like call it, um, and say we're not gonna finish the clock out at this point, it's impossible to score enough, <sighs> you know, like I wish there was some kind of function like that, like around, somewhere at, around the four minute mark that I could say, well, it, it's impossible to score enough, or it's impossible for them to score enough, like this is obviously where it ends. And, uh, and just call it. So I wouldn't have to play quite the whole game, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wish there was a way to do that, but it makes you play every single second. Even though, at a certain point, there's, you, they cannot win. It's just not possible for them to get enough points. Like, they can't possibly get four points in this amount of time, you know? Well, five points now. They have to get five points to beat me. Um, and it's just not going to happen in two and a half minutes. Or, sorry, in three and a half minutes that we have left. I am. I mean, I'm literally just, like, rubbing salt in the wound. Like, look at me. I'm just scoring on you over and over and over and over. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's make a train. Follow me, everybody. Follow Nada. Follow me, I have the ball. Oh, I got one. Follow me, guys. Come on, the train, the choo choo right in. Follow me, follow me. Oh, they're about to catch me. They caught me. <laughs> they caught me. No! Pass it all the way back to Josu. It's never gonna make it to him. There's no way. <laughs> I knew that, was, that wasn't gonna happen. I almost did, though. It almost made it past their last guy. Bedtime for Waka. Good night. Sleep tight.
<sighs> Chami, there's no point. The clock's almost done. All good. Oh, they didn't re-sign Kyo. Oh, that's so sad. His model's so cool. Shami sounds like Sammy, but if Sean Connery says it, Shami. <laughs> oh my god, it so does. <laughs> wow, kitty. <laughs> League season over. Yes, number one. Yay, I learned status reels. And we got another rename card counter formation. All right, let's go back. Okay, let's use this rename card. Should be down towards the bottom. I did it! Now we gotta do that two more times. We gotta get two more things. Um, I think they're down. Yeah, okay. Let's do... So we've got Snuggles, Cuddles, Kisses, Floofy, Giggles, Jingles, Effie, Emma, and K. And this is going to be Flucky. Jane, did you get ready for bed? Are you all nice and cozy and comfy? Plucky. There we go. Confirm. Yeah, there's more steps. Okay, Plucky. Now he has a fun name too. No, you just you missed status reels. Um, but we still gotta get the Oroch reels and then we get the Jupiter sigil. Okay, let's see if we rolled the Oroch reel. So we gotta, so basically what I gotta do is get the tournament to pop up with Oroch reels next. So like if I just go back in a few times, like I'll show you how I can, I can just re-roll it. If I just do this a few times, it'll pop up with something, but I don't know if it'll be the item that we want. This is not a good save point to do it at, because it keeps setting, sending me back and I have to walk forward every time. There we go, Oroch Reels. Okay, fabulous. So, um, this is how, this is what we're going to do. Next Final Fantasy X stream, we're going to actually play this tournament and get the Oroch Reels. Um, I'm not going to do that this stream. We don't have enough time for three more Blitzball games. Um, but we do have still a little bit of time. So, let's go back into the Cavern of the Stolen Faith and see if we can get some more monster hunting. Yeah, you didn't miss anything super big. And actually, it's going to be a minute before we get back to Final Fantasy X, because next week I am going to do um, part one of my Halloween stream for Artistic License. So we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Blind, I've never played it before. Um, I don't know very much about it, so don't spoil me or, or tell me anything crazy. I mean, I know it's a dating sim that gets weird. That's all I know. <laughs> so that's what we're going to play next stream, and probably the stream after that two for Thursdays, and then we'll come back to Final Fantasy X once I've, um, once I've beaten Doki Doki Literature Club. All right. Let's see if we can find, we need a Valaha and we need several ghosts. Dating sim that gets weird is our jam, right, Kitty? I think I'll like it. It's a spooky, scary game, but I, I think that um, it's more my speed. I think it's not like terrifying, kind of scary, you know? Um, so, uh, not like I, I had so much trouble time. with, um, whatever that game was we played last Halloween, and I couldn't even, I streamed for like an hour, and I was like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I can't handle it no more. I, like, panicked. Um, but yeah, I think this is a little bit more my speed, I don't think I'm gonna panic like that. I'll be right back. Because dating sims, like, the structure of it, I don't think it's gonna, it, they don't freak me out if they, if something scary happens the way that, like, a first-person game will make me panic if something scary happens. That's what we're gonna do. Oh no, fuck no, goodbye. Don't, Don't like right you back. guys. Lunar, welcome back! Your character just knocked out and kidnapped another- Whoa! I'm so glad they were successful. Congratulations you to your character. Oh, okay, a Valaha. Fabulous. We do need one of those. Let's 
Why y'all picking on Waka? Alright, let's do um, an armor break on the Valaha. Her husband is like, I don't even know where to start asking questions. <laughs> Lunar, your um, your ship there sounds amazing. It sounds exactly my speed. Um, I'm, I'm all here for it. Alright, that's all the Valahas we need. We just need some more ghosts from here now. That's very cool, indeed. It was luck the dice liked me tonight. That's wonderful. I love it when the dice are on your side, you know? Let's see. He... Oh, water. Okay. Actually, I do need to bring Titus back. So let's, um... Kira up Waka. It's definitely the lucky ears. It must be. I, I mean, I, you must be right with the, the ears being lucky. Okay, so he can still do some damage. Oren can't do any damage. So I might as well bring Titus back in for that. Ha! And let's get Kamari in here. I'd smash. I think it's the horns for me. Well, I don't know. This one's actually really creepy. The ghosts are. So I don't know about that. Um... Maybe, maybe with, with much trepidation, like a very tentative yes, but not, I'm not confident. I'm not confident in the yes. <laughs> um, here, let's do this. Let me show y'all our new status reels that we got. I think he's going to be immune to a lot of this stuff, but you can see there, it, like, it'll like poison them. It'll do slow and haste and all kinds of fun stuff. It didn't say I captured that ghost. I wonder if the status reels made me not capture it. Because I was still using Waka's ball, so I thought it would, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I got that ghost. That won't go so you. easy on you next time. No Don't need any more of you. We got Little plenty of Tonberries. The Tonberry is definitely a pass for me. Definitely a pass for me. No smash on the Tonberry. They too little. I won't go so easy on you next time. Yeah, we don't do those pots. Yep. They explode. They explode in your face. It's not very nice. Live and let live. So we need like three or four more ghosts because I didn't see the message pop up that I captured that other ghost, so I don't think I did. I think Waka's status reels actually messed it up. Oh, but let's go ahead. We'll kill this Valaha just to make sure. I think I'm good on those. We'll kill one more just to make sure. Then we know. Okay, yeah, we're good on those. So we just need ghosts out of here. We can't go too far in, because remember, um, Dark Yojimbo is ready to fuck us up. So, I'll be right back. we can't go that far. Here, ghosty, ghosty. Here, ghosty. I just want to add you to my menagerie. Live and let live. It'll be fun. The man just wants to do experiments on you so he can create bigger, badder monsters. I'm sure he's very gentle. You can trust me. I won't go so easy on you next time.
Oh my gosh. Why aren't the ghosties popping up? Live and let live! Come to me, ghosties. Uh, we'll definitely have lots more time next time we play Final Fantasy X to do monster Don't capturing like if we that. don't make a lot of progress here because we're only playing the three Blitzball games to get those Orok reels. Live and let live. So we'll definitely have plenty of time to find the rest of the ghosts that time. Now we've got a few more um, monsters from the Mount Gagazette caves in Xanarkand area that we still need to get to, so... We still got a little bit to go on the monster capturing. Live and let live. Well, coy holes, those don't pop up very much, but I got plenty of you guys in the comments. Go so so easy on you next time. I'm good on those. Those things give me, like, flashbacks. Trauma. Traumatized. From them, like, killing me. And it wasn't exactly a not paying attention thing. They just, like, totally wrecked me. No. They heard me talking about him. Made him come up again. Come here, ghosties. Right back. Dang, super regretting using those status reels on the one that we found because I think it made it not capture, so that's like a whole nother one we gotta find. Live and let live. Maybe I'm too far back in the cave. Maybe I need to go forward a little bit to find some more. Nope. I'll be right back. I mean, they are rare, but this is a little silly. I'll be right back. Maybe there's some in this room? They're scared of you now? That's right, Kitty. They must be scared of me. They're scared of my good luck tonight. They can't they can't handle it. They can't handle all this luck up in here. It's too much for them. I'll be right back. Dang, that was a strong Thundaga. That won't go so easy on you next time. That won't go so easy on you next time. get him out of that yellow so he's not looking so limp. No. Nope. I will go so easy on you next time. I feel like this is why I said before I might finish up the ghosts off stream. But I thought like, oh yeah, a few minutes, so maybe get a couple ghosts, but like it's not happening. I'll be right back. They're too rare.
It is, that's true. It is nice to see our old friends again from a couple of streams ago. They spread the love around that time. Live and let live. He does. That Thundaga is too too much. Just too much. All right. So here's what here's what we're gonna do. Um, let's do our sphere grid. We're gonna do our sphere grid, and then we will. We'll raid somebody and close out the stream for tonight. Because it's been a second since I actually did their sphere grid. Jonathan, how's it going? You caught you caught me before um, I was done for today. So happy to see you. We're doing a late night stream. any level 3 key spheres to unlock that. Yeah, I just have one and two. You probably already said this, but how come some of the name colors change in the chats although they come up on their screen? Um, I have not said that because I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why it's different um, inside Twitch than what the chat box shows like on the chat side in the on the video itself. I have no idea why that happens. It is, it is a mystery to me, too. Oh, hell yeah. This, this, this is a good Final Fantasy. The best one. No, because we don't have any level 3 key spheres. We can't take her that way. What is this? Down here. Uh, no. How far back can I move her? Is that as far? Yeah, that's as far as she can go. We'll go back this far. What is this? Quick pockets. That's a Riku ability. We definitely can't unlock that either. Spear grid done. Okay, let's go ahead and save. So on Saturday, we had a little bit of a scheduling snafu with me and Landon. I don't think I'm going to stream on Saturday. If I do, it's going to be more Sims 2 Legacy, but we're probably skipping Saturday's stream so that you guys are aware. Um, let's go ahead and close out Final Fantasy. Let's quit. Yes. Switch back to the webcam close that all right guys so okay so that was the stream today um we're probably not streaming on saturday we had a me and landon had a scheduling uh issue and so probably not but if we do it's going to be just a sims 2 legacy stream like i've done for filler streams before um yeah saturday is in a couple of days so harry potter is going to be delayed again but 
the next Saturday after that, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, we'll be doing Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, but next Saturday, probably no stream. If I do stream, it's going to be Sims 2 Legacy. But next Artistic License, next Thursday, we're going to be doing Doki Doki Literature Club. We're going to be doing our Halloween episode um, for, for that stream. It's going to be two parts, Thursday and then the next Thursday after that. We'll be doing that. It's blind for me. I've never played it before, so I'm really excited. So um, also... You guys know how it works. Here's all my socials if you want to find me. All the things, I do the same thing. The same way as every other content creator does it. No differences. Um, and we're going to raid Venom tonight. He's playing some more Resident Evil 2. He's playing some Resident Evil 2. So that's who we're going to raid into. Our good friend Venom. Alright guys, I will see you probably next Thursday. Probably not on Saturday, but maybe on Saturday. I'll keep you all updated on the Twitters and in the Discord. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, as always, of course, to make it a great day.